the Winter Offensive case wasn't one of the first cases to be released, but coming out in December of 2013 is still extremely early in the grand scale of things. What if you had bought one of every skin in the highest condition possible, in both stat track and non-stat track varieties? How much would it have cost you, and how much would it be worth now? What makes this case special is that it's the first to contain community-made skins. Before this point, Valve made all of the skins themselves. Handing the work over to the community was a big moment for the game, and it's made many people, and Valve, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, and lots of money. So let's get on with the collection, but I'm going to warn you, as a whole, this is quite a boring case to cover because while you'd have made a profit if you had bought them all a week after release and sold them today, you wouldn't have made much. Unlike the other cases I've covered, many of the designs featured in the Winter Offensive collection have devalued. The Stat Track M4A1S Guardian could have been bought for £55, and now sells for £39. The Stat Track PP Bison would have been a depressing purchase too. Its price at release was £9.11, and it slowly and consistently lost its value for the best part of a year, levelling out at around 50 pence the following September. Since then, there have been times when it's gone up in value again, but it never goes up that far, and those times don't last long. In fact, the best investment is the non-stat track MP9 Rose Iron, which is worth five times more now than it was back then. People have been going crazy for this one in the past year for some reason. But when compared with some of the other investments you could have made in the other cases, even this one isn't that amazing. I'll skip to the conclusion. Buying all 13 skins a week after release and selling them today will have made you a massive £61 profit. Terrible. You'd have made more money had you invested that money in a bank at 1.4% interest a year. Investing that money in Apple would now be worth £2,626. And of course, Bitcoin continues to haunt us all, with £657 worth of the stuff in 2013 now being worth 56610 If only. If blessed with the power of hindsight, you can do tremendous things. I've only talked about buying at release and selling today, but there are day trading opportunities here. Like with that PP Bison I mentioned earlier, if we bought £100 worth of them here, sold here, bought here with all the money made, sold here, bought here again with all the money made, and sold here, you'd have £3,200 today. Obviously, this is only easy with the power of hindsight. I hope this series has made that clear, but it's worth stressing again in this example in case you're looking at this and thinking, wow, it would be easy to buy low and sell high, because it isn't. Unless you find someone willing to buy one for £18 instead of £1.80. It seems like every weapon in this case has had to have had at least one regrettable sale. The P250 stat track Mendy sold for £350 when it was worth just £35. And the M4 Asimov sold for £466 instead of £80 somehow. Why? And a well-worn stat track Sandstorm, worth £1.20, sold for £86. Dank. One lucky person sold not one, but two orb red lines for £233 each, almost ten times what they were worth at the time. And I like to think that one person thought you were meant to buy high and sell low just here, where a stat track Kraken was bought for £62, then sold a week later for £4. Nice. If you wanted to become a millionaire from buying and selling winter offensive stuff, the case itself was probably a good bet. Buying £20,000 worth of cases in June of 2014 for five pence each, and selling them all today would have made you a millionaire. Provided buying and selling in such large quantities didn't change the market, which it would have, but whatever. And for the meme potential, buying £43,000 worth of minimal wear galil sandstorms right here would be worth a million pounds today. But here's the best deal. If you feel you should have bought some skins with hindsight, just spare a moment for all the skin makers out there. You mark my words, they all look back at this case and wish they had gotten their skins featured in it. If only they had submitted more designs, and sooner. These days, countless high quality submissions compete for the smallest chance to be featured. But back then, it was a lot easier, and the standard far lower. Some were nothing more than little tests that people had made and then uploaded to the workshop. Stuff that took them minutes to make. And yet, each of these skins will have made their makers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Easily. And they continue to earn money from them. All because they were among the first to submit their skins to the workshop. But remember, it's always easy with hindsight.